Sir, it hit the newsstands an hour ago. How bad is it? Stacy Jacks. On the phone. Ask, hey man, to just chill for a second or two, man. Yes, I'm on that. Don't worry about it. I just tore the editors a new one. You should have heard me, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Page 68, second paragraph. Read. Stacy Jacks will tell you he's a cowboy, but lately he seems more like a boy cow who's gotten lost in the herd. But the biggest danger is the man who seems to be calling the shots, his manager, Paul Gill, a man so oily, Exxon might want to reconsider buying stock in him. Okay, well, you know, that could also mean that I'm real slick. Because I am, but no such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> okay, that's. That was funny. Even the legendary bourbon room isn't sacred. This reporter learned that Stacy Jackson Paul Gill walked away with virtually all of the night's proceeds. It's not not true. It's more, more true than I would perhaps prefer. <laughs> okay, yes, I'll be clear about that. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. I wish that the true part were falser. You know what, ma'am? Let's start all over again. Let's turn that frown the right way around. What do you say, sad clown? I got something for you. One of a kind. <laughs> 150 years old. Priceless. <laughs> so what if some hack journalist took some pot shots at you? All your life, you have wanted